think about my offer before I change my mind. Only idiots would refuse such a generous offer. Your price is really attractive. I'll consider it carefully. I heard Donald recently tried to convince Angelo to move out of the town, and he seems to have succeeded. Who is Angelo? The clown. He used it to run an amusement park. Hey there. The next task is find a way to keep Angelo to stay. Angelo, she just moved back to town. Do you remember her? Of course I do. She's the girl who used to bully you. Ha! <laughs> that seems to be true. I don't remember much about my childhood, except your amusement park. I had a lot of fun there. Why is it closed now? People kept moving out. I had no choice but to close. Now that the tourists are swarming in, it's a good opportunity to reopen the amusement park. I can't afford it. All the facilities had fallen into disrepair. They are completely unusable. I may have a way. Please don't rush to sell it to Donald. Hmm. I only can put it off for a few days. It'll take a lot of money to rebuild the amusement park. However, the people in this town are all poor. It used to be, but now it's different. You mean Leo? Who else could be there? I don't really want to deal with him anymore. Leo is not a bad person. He's just a bit eccentric. Just a little? All right, let's try it first. And if he doesn't agree, we'll find another way. Hi, Mr. Karen and Leo. How are you? I have something I want to discuss with you. Talk to Karen if it's not important. It's important, and I may need your help to solve it. Master, please show some patience, since we're all available now. Go ahead. The resort owner who lived at the foot of the mountain wants to turn the town into a casino, and he persuaded many residents to move out already. I didn't buy this castle for this. Now, Angelo, who lives in the town, is moving out soon. But he will stay if we can help him to reopen his amusement park. So, what do you want me to do? We hope you can help us rebuild the amusement park together. And we'll pay you back when it's operating, or you can be a partner of it. Karen, you keep discussing with them. I don't want to waste my time on it, and I'm going to have a cup of black tea. He's so rude. Uh, let's go. Wait, you're mistaken about him. He agreed. Are you sure about this? Why didn't he just say so? He's just not used to being thanked, so he made up an excuse to leave. He said he didn't want to live in a casino, so just go on with your plan. I'll help you with it. And thank you, Leo. Angelo, we found your sponsor to rebuild the amusement park. Oh, really? You can't be kidding me. Of course not, but your amusement park... No problem, but let me know who is that. Is he a tough guy to deal with? I'll tell you later, Henry. It's time to work. Let's start from the door.
It's important to let everyone know that we reopen the amusement park, so the signboard must be eye-catching. I can't agree more. But how should I explain to Mr. Donald? Don't worry, we'll handle it. It's my show now. After trimming the wall, the entire periphery is almost done. At least it doesn't look like a closed amusement park from the outside. I can see the signboard of the amusement park being erected. What did you do for that? It was Leo. He is really the benefactor of this town. For the first time, I feel that being rich is so good. Do you remember when you were a child? You cried the whole time for mommy the first time you rode a roller coaster. That's impossible. I can't be that person. <laughs> it's your turn too? Let's go and fix the roller coaster first. Can you fix the other first? No, I'm so looking forward to riding the roller coaster with you again. Coaster is the most important attraction in each amusement park, so it should be more eye-catching. You actually want everyone to see me on the roller coaster, right? I don't believe the roller coaster can scare you. Congratulations, you've opened a new store again. I used to make snacks and fast food, but only this steakhouse is the real restaurant in my mind. Not long ago, you almost left town without a penny. Yes, I can't even imagine that. I suggest you buy us a steak. You have the VIP for the store. No charge at all. <laughs> we may keep you bankrupt. Hi, Leo. Are you having a walk? I think so. You don't sound so sure. Well, I'm actually looking for a place. Hey, why don't you ask me? I'm a resident of this town. I don't think you will know. It's the same Leo tone as always. Well, you successfully aroused my fighting spirit. What is that? Ah, uh, it's actually the place in this painting. Uh, be careful. You care for this painting more than people. Is it expensive? Nothing to do with the price. This painting is important to me.
Is this painting a gift for someone special? Ex-girlfriend? No. The author is my mother. She is a painter. Well, why don't you ask her where this is? Do you want to give her a surprise? She left me when I was six years old. Oh, I I'm sorry to hear that. You misunderstood. I mean, she left me, not that she died. Oh, uh, did your parents get divorced? To be precise, she ran away from home. It's the artist's style, isn't it? Why did she run away from home? Uh, sorry, I, I asked too many questions. You did, but I don't mind telling you. In fact, I don't know why she ran away, and my father never mentioned this to me. He can't forgive Mother until now. Maybe your mother needed some time to think about life. She is an artist, after all. Didn't your father look for her? I think he did, but failed. Half a year after my mother left, he put away all her things and forbid me to mention anything related to my mother. Are you still looking for her? Yes, I saw this painting not long ago in a salon. The signature is exactly the same as my mother's. This clue should be able to lead you to find your mother. This painting was drawn 20 years ago. People involved couldn't find the author's info. Besides, my mother hid her information deliberately, making it difficult to get anything useful. Oh, so rich people like you also have troubles. Fortunately, I also saw the name Happy Town on this painting. That's why you came to the town. No wonder you were so generous. Happy Town is the only clue. I won't allow anyone to destroy it. Why did you buy this castle? Have you found any clues there? No, I bought the castle only for living. Well, this is your style, Leo, about your mother. I, I know this is your private matter, but I can help you with it. I think the residents here must know something. That would be great if you're willing to help. I thought you would refuse. It's always difficult for me to refuse your request. coaster is complete. We should experience the fun of it by ourselves. Not necessary. You always want to prove that you're not a coward. Is there a better chance? Well, let me try. Take it easy. It's okay. It's not too late to brag after your legs stop shaking. I think the amusement park is half succeed. Although the equipment is built well, the environment is bad. It looks like the combination of an abandoned yard and an amusement park. Don't get rushed. We just started, and our next step is cleaning up. Seems that Master Leo is full of criticism. You still don't get him right now. 
That's his personality, but he's a good man. Now go and clean it up. He's now the boss of the amusement park, too. You're so lucky that Leo doesn't see it, or it wouldn't be a matter of criticism. That's amazing! I was thinking exactly the same as you. Let's clean up quickly before he notices. Hi, Karen. Are you here for me? Yep. Leo and I have moved here for some days, and the castle has been restored with your help. Leo wants to hold a party in the castle and invite you to attend. Sounds great. We'll be there. Also, welcome the other townspeople. I think Sam and Angela will be glad to go. Good evening, Leo. The party looks awesome. My honor. Hey, you look so beautiful tonight. As if you are attending a grand ball. Shall we dance later? Sam, she didn't dress up for you. Take a hint. Come and have a drink with me. I can't believe that you dressed up for a small party. Well, this is a kind of respect for the host. Did you dress up for Leo? I'm always a polite person. Your polite makes me a little jealous, and I hope I can get your polite too. Hi, may I chat with you? Of course. Listen, to be frank, I don't like Leo very much. I think we've talked about the issue, haven't we? I understand your feeling. In fact, I hated him too at first. No, I mean, rich people are always elusive. They often abandon the old for the new. The town and you are new to him, just for now. You have worried too much, but thanks for your concern. Anyway, I have a bad feeling about him. Hey, do you want a piece of Sam's cake? Sure. This cake always makes me feel... familiar. Everyone enjoys the party tonight. There's more and more parties since your arrival. With pleasure. You are good with words. I'm really happy to have you in Happy Town. We all made great efforts to protect the town, but I have to admit that it was always you who resolved the problems. You know, I have my purpose. Merchants don't sell their hen on a rainy day. Please, you can speak more gently. For example, you can praise me. You are so beautiful tonight. Oh, sorry. You look really beautiful tonight. I hope it's not too late. Thank you. I think it's no longer suitable for talking now. <laughs> 